Hi, in this video, we're going to find a limit. We have the limit as x approaches zero of the sine of two x, all divided by the tangent of three x. Let's go ahead and work through this solution. First thing you should do whenever you have a limit is at the very least mentally, take the number and plug it in. Let's actually go ahead and do it. If we put a zero where the x is, we get sine of two times zero, which is the sine of zero divided by, and then we have tangent of three times zero, we get tangent of zero. The sine of zero is zero, and the tangent of zero is also zero, so we get zero over zero, so that doesn't work. However, zero over zero is called an indeterminate form. Whenever you have this specific indeterminate form, or some other ones like infinity over infinity, you can use something called L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule says that to take this limit, we simply take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. And that applies when you have zero over zero, infinity over infinity, negative infinity over negative infinity, infinity over negative infinity, and negative infinity over infinity. So any of these cases, you can use the procedure which I'm about to show you. This is the limit as x approaches zero. And we're just gonna take the derivative. So the derivative of a sine is cosine, we have a 2x, so we have to use the chain rule. We take the derivative of the outside, which is cosine. We leave it evaluated at the inside, the 2x. We multiply times the derivative of the inside function. So the derivative of 2x is just 2. Over, the derivative of tangent is secant squared. Here again, we have the tangent of 3x. We have to use the chain rule. We take the derivative of the outside and we leave it evaluated at the inside function. So it's secant squared evaluated at 3x. You just leave the inside alone. Then times the derivative of 3x, which is just 3. At this point, we can plug in the number. So we drop the limit sign. We get cosine 2 times 0 is 0. And we have a 2 here. Over, and then we have secant squared of 0 times three. Cosine of zero is one, we get one times two, over secant of x is equal to one over cosine x. Okay, so when you take, when you compute secant of, of zero, you're just gonna get one over cosine zero. So you're gonna get one over one, so you're gonna get one. You're just gonna get one squared times three. You get one times two, which is two, one times three, which is three. So the answer is two over three. So it's a simple application of L'Hopital's rule. Very, very powerful. Hopefully this video has helped someone out there in the world. Good luck.